In this tutorial, we're going to look at different ways of cutting through your object. So here I have a box, and I've cut two other boxes out of it just to create a more complex geometry. And we're going to start with the clipping plane. So go ahead and type in clipping plane. And then it's going to ask you for the first corner of a rectangle and the second corner. If I then move the clipping plane, you'll see it'll cut through that geometry as I move the clipping plane. So this is really great. It gives you like a CAT scan of your geometry. The neat thing about clipping plane is you can also make multiple clipping planes. So if I go to my front view and type in clipping plane again, I can create a new rectangle that cuts through that object. If I go back to perspective, you'll notice something kind of strange, which is that it's not actually cutting through the geometry. So to change that, you go into your property menu here. These are objects, so they, like all objects in Rhino, have properties. I can then go into my clipping plane properties and I can turn on which view I want it to see uh, or to operate within. So if I want it to work in perspective, I can click on perspective there. The other nice thing is if I go to my object, I can actually change the display color. So since it's a section cut, I could make it, for example, red. You can see the cut will then show up in red. I can do that for both of these. And then I can see them. Um, one thing that's usually pretty helpful is these are infinite planes. So they don't actually have to encompass your geometry. Um, if I hold down shift, I can move both of these off to the side and they still work by cutting my geometry. And this will be useful if, for example, you want to change your display color to something like Arctic um, and then render that and have that as an image in the background of a drawing. Just kind of a nice way to see a section cut um, in a very quick way. Okay, so the next uh, one I want to show you is contour. So if I select this object and type in contour, this will basically create a series of cuts through the geometry. And this is useful if you're creating something like a topography model where you're laser cutting a bunch of chipboard and stacking it. So the first thing it asks is for a base point. And then I want to cut this vertically, so a bunch of plan contours. So I want to select an object that's vertical, or the next point that's straight up and down. Um, and then it will ask me for the distance between contours. So if I knew I was making a 16th inch model, I can make this contour 16th inch. Uh, but in this case, I'll just stick with uh, two. And then it'll create a series of cuts through that geometry. I can then move those off to the side. And these are separate objects. So I can then um, laser cut each of these or use them for plans, for example. Um, another thing you can do is the section tool. So if I type in section, it then asks you for the objects to create the selection, the section through, hit enter, and then you'll create a line. Um, I'll click one point here, hold down shift to create a orth orthogonal line, and then that'll cut a section through the geometry. I can hit enter and then move that off to the side. So that creates a section, and these are again curves that you can then edit. Um, the next thing I want to show you is the trim tool. So if I go to my front view and create a line, through my object. If I select that line and type in trim, I can then trim everything above that line. So if I go back to my perspective view, it cut through that object. And you can do this in any view that you use to trim. Um, another one that's similar to that, so if I go back to my front view and undo, is the split option. So if I type in split, it then asks me to select the objects to split, enter, and then I can select the cutting object, enter and it actually cuts it splits those in two so these are now two halves of the object if we go back to perspective you can then see that it has split that object into two